just a second. Okay, welcome. We're going to go ahead and get started with the mentor training. A couple of things I'm going to ask you to do. One is we are testing our live broadcast for the stu from the studio for Thursday. So you also get us at a little bit of a dry run, making sure that all of our technology works and we know how we're switching between everyone that's coming in on Zoom and um, all of those things. So um, just bear with us a little bit along the way. All of you should be watching on the YouTube live stream. And we are um, going to go ahead and walk through the, um, the training today for the mentor training. So we've got about 200 mentors that are all participating. Thank you so much for uh, participating as a mentor for the girls. Um, they're super excited about it. And we've had really great response from the young women as we've been working with them over the last couple of weeks. We've had a couple of opportunities to do the appropriate social distancing with our mask kind of broadcast for our TikTok that we created and a bunch of other really fun things. So thank you for taking time um, to engage the girls and to help them and to work with them. A couple things we wanna walk you through um, in the training today. So we're gonna talk a little bit about the objectives of what we're doing with the Tech Challenge. Some of you might have participated with us in the past in the Tech Challenge, and um, we're gonna show you kind of the, the format that we're doing today, set a little bit of expectation um, some of the ground rules. Um, Jill is actually going to walk you through the actual um, expectations that we're setting and the process so you have feel comfortable with it. Um, and then we're going to talk a little bit about judging and we'll set up the, the scenario. Post this meeting, you will get an email from us with a couple of things and I'll remind you of this at the end. You're going to get an email that includes a Word doc that has all of the instructions and the timing that you will need to follow. We'll talk about that during this session. And then on the flip side of that, you're also going to get a link for that has been given to the girls for your exact Zoom session for the mentor session. We're going to go through all of this in, in detail as we um, come through today. A couple of things that we've learned are really important as we um, talk to mentors and to make sure that everyone's doing. So one of those is that everyone kind of know, everyone has the same context for how we've created the SheTech program and the objective of this session. One of the number one reasons the young women tell us that they participate in the program is because they get the opportunity to meet role models and mentors. 90% of the girls tell us they know no women in technology, and this for them becomes one of those changing points in time where they see the opportunities that exist in STEM, they get to hear stories. But we've also found over the years, having 15,000 girls go through the program, that they also need structure around those conversations so they can engage in conversations and all of the girls can engage. The SheTech program was really created around this, uh, this plan of how do we activate high school girls into STEM. And what we found is they need role models, mentors, hands-on activities, and the ability to see what they care about and how that translates into what they're passionate about and then how that maps to technology. So your job as a mentor is to help us activate them and see the possibilities in STEM to inspire them to walk away from their interaction with you to take a technology course um, that we can connect them to education opportunities and career opportunities and that they have this ability to engage in all sorts of other aspects that are really important um, to them. A couple of interesting things this time in the virtual summit, this format, we decided to allow students to submit mini workshops. Obviously, many of you as our industry partners submitted workshops and created them for the students. And this year we allowed the students to, and what was super cool is we had more than 25 students create workshops and submit them for the competition. The girls are really engaged and our ability as a community to activate them creates real impact through the duration of their lives and into all of the open tech jobs that we have. So expectations that we have. This is the first time I think you all know that we've ever done SheTech as a virtual, as a live virtual summit. When we were setting this up and when we knew we had to switch from the live in-person event to the virtual summit, we did a bunch of validation with girls and teachers. 
one of the things that they told us is that having this live, not just recorded sessions, but having a live component of it was super important to them. And so we moved this to this window of time on Thursday from one to three, where there's a lot of live things happening to engage them. And then there's a lot of content that they can engage with after the live session. What that also means is while we've had a lot, like almost 1,300 girls register, we have no idea what attendance is going to be like. So one of the things that's going to be really important in your mentor sessions, and all of the mentor sessions are really two to six girls, is that we ask you to be flexible and help those young women. So we don't know how many will attend. One of the things that we did this year to drive attendance and ensure the girls would log in is we allowed them to register as teams. So the girls could say, hey, me and my four friends, we all want to be in the Tech Challenge team. We felt like creating a Zoom with everyone who didn't know each other might be a little overwhelming for some girls. So if, they're over, if they submit it as a team, then you'll have a team in your um, session. And then you'll probably have some additional girls just depending on how those go. But we really don't have any way to know how many are going to or not attend. So we're just going to ask for a whole bunch of flexibility on what that is. And then communication. We'll give you a communication channel so that you can, com you can talk to us in real time. Most likely, we're going to send everyone to a Slack channel on the Women Tech Council community site so that if you run into any issues, you can Slack our team in real time and we can help solve those. We're going to give you access to a couple of resources that I'll talk through in a moment, like a Google spreadsheet that has all of the Zoom numbers that everyone's logging into so you can help troubleshoot. And we do believe the majority of the girls have the ability and know how to join a Zoom because they've had to join every tool possible in the last month. But we also anticipate a few technical difficulties. So just be prepared for that. Help the girls through that and just really make it a positive experience for them, whether no matter how many girls you have join. One of the things to note is if you ended up in a session where there's only one girl, um, we're going to rely on you. We're recording every Zoom. But we're going to also rely on you to understand what that interaction looks like. If you think it's a great value exchange, please have that great conversation with that young woman and take her through the challenge. If there's something that you need to change, what we're going to do is on the main broadcast YouTube live stream that's happening for the entire duration of the live virtual summit, we are running a live tech challenge with a live mentor and six of our student senior board members. So if there's anyone who can't get into their own individual Zoom, if no one shows or they show late or there's some complexity, you can send them back to watch the live interaction that will be on the main channel for the entire duration. So we're trying to reduce that friction. You, this is the only time in the whole live summit where they, they are going to be asked to switch from the live broadcast to an individual session that has some complexity in it. And then your job is to not only help them get there, but also get them back to the live stream um, when you're done, because that's what we'll be giving away the prizes. Another caveat that we wanted to make sure that you know is that we're not excluding anyone. So we have a whole bunch of people registered. If you do end up with a boy that joins your session, just run it like you normally would and just keep going. Um, we're not telling anyone they cannot participate. Whomever joins your session, let them join and have a great experience with you. A um, couple of things because you're virtual and you, it would be great if you can have encourage everyone to be on camera. Um, you're going to want them to be engaged. So your job as that mentor is going to be pull them into the conversation, have fun with those young women, and have them see how cool it is to be in tech and just kind of in those 30 minutes have this opportunity to draw them in. So we want you to encourage the girls to put their phones away, unless obviously they're streaming on them. Um, we want you to encourage them to listen to other ideas and collaborate and communicate with those. And what you're really trying to do is facilitate a discussion and not put your ideas out there. So your job is to be this great facilitator with all of these ideas and navigate the young women to really good outcomes. Another one we're going to throw in there is do not eat while you're facilitating the session. You think this might be funny, but we have had people do that. So we're just giving a little bit of broad coaching that make sure you're not eating, that you're focused on those girls, that you're engaged with them actively, that you two aren't trying to multitask between your device and your other Slack channels and all of the other work that you've got, they've got your undivided attention for those few minutes. Okay, logistically, everyone's going to have a Zoom session. We are putting all the mentor sessions on Zoom. We did not want to have to try to technically troubleshoot 10 other platforms. So everyone's on a Zoom session. Um, and we're also um, looking for all of those Zoom sessions to not have passwords. 
We know the reality of Zoom bombing, but the reality is for the friction to get the girls from one link to another link and then back, we need just really seamless interaction from them with the girls who join. There, we'll give you a link to the spreadsheet. It says all the mentor names and it says the link to your Zoom and the first names of the girls expected to be in your session. So everyone will have access to that. Should make that really easy for you to engage. Um, we're, we'll want you to double check the information and tell us anything that you're concerned about. We will have tested all the Zoom links ahead of time to make sure that they um, take you to the right place and there's not typos in them. We are, as I said, recording every session. Um, we'll record all of those to the cloud so that we can download those, and download those and have access to them. You will be the host of your session, so there will not be a moderator in these. You are the host, the moderator, and the guide through this discussion and responsible to um, report back. So we need a couple of things from you. This is a timed session. We have two hours total for the virtual session and a ton of content packed into that. For this session, you must be timekeeper. So we would recommend putting a timer on your phone because each of the sections we will walk you through have a specific time element for them. And then if you have a problem, um, we will send you an invite to connect with the community Slack channel later today. If there's any issues, pull that up, Slack us, and our team can help you respond, troubleshoot, join your Zoom, whatever you need um, at that specific moment in time. And time is going to fly by. So a little bit about um, schedule and timing. And I asked Jill Wiggins to jump in here and join us um, and kind of present some of this, um, so this, act, this section of it and just walk you through what this challenge is going to specifically look like. So I'm gonna pull Jill over here and I'm gonna let Jill go ahead and walk you through um, these slides. Yep, I will advance them. Okay. All right. So then we'll look at mine. Okay. So for the first one, for those of you who have done the tech challenge before as a mentor, it's very similar, but we've streamlined it because you have less time. So as this said, the most important thing is to watch the time. The second one is don't forget to when you're done and form at the end. And the third one is have fun with the girls because they're very inspiring. So the way this one's going to work is instead of someone presenting the challenge, And then you're going to present the scenario to them so they understand and they can start brainstorming. So that's the first five minutes. If girls jump on a little bit late, you might have to streamline that however you can so that you can jump to the next section, which is the brainstorm. So this is like what we've done before. Usually what we do is we give them all post-it notes. So whatever they have, they can write down all of their ideas for solving the problem that we're going to present. So they're going to write as many as they can um, tell them not to evaluate what they're doing, just write Develop their ideas and write until about five minutes is up. And then next, we'll go to selecting that solution. So it's the down select where they have to share their ideas to get to a common theme. Um, and then you're, as the girls are talking, they'll figure out the one that they want to go with. This one might be a little harder to get into five minutes because some will want to talk, some won't. So part of your job is making sure every girl gets a voice and has a say in what you're doing um, and keeping their comments short and sweet and specific so you can get through that. All right. And then uh, the last part, the chunk of it is designing the solution. So this is where normally what they would be doing is outlining it on their board, doing all those things. Now you're going to talk through what is that solution? Is it feasible? Does it innovate? How does it use technology? All of those things need to factor into their design. And what we'd like is for you to help facilitate that. So if they get stuck on something, 
you can help. Um, the goal is just that you're not giving them all the ideas, right? That they're using their creative process to come up with it. It may not be feasible, but that's okay. They're gonna think outside the box and that's fun. And then they can iterate and refine. We're gonna give you the criteria for judging. So you can also tell them what those categories are. So as they're iterating, refining and making sure that it's gonna fit the solution, they can be looking at those judging criteria to make sure that they've covered all those bases. So that's the chunk of it. It will go fast. Um, so I put a note in here at the bottom, just remember to have them back on the, the closing celebration session at 2.35. And then at that point, we have a judging um, survey for you. So it's super simple. Um, Sid, if you're on the judging slide, there is a link to the Qualtrics survey. So it, it basically asks you first for your name so we can match it up to your team of girls what company you're from, and how many girls attended your Zoom session. And then you get four steps to just rank by four categories how well your girls did. So it's one to 100 for each of those four categories. I'm gonna show them to you in a second. And then um, there's a final question that says, you know, it, where would you put this as far as categories go? Is it, you know, best use of tech, best use of math, where does it go? And that, will be the last question on the survey. So super simple. And on the next slide, here's the criteria for judging. Um, like I said, you're only judging your girls. So how well did they do on creative problem solving? Did they come up with new things? Was it thought provoking? Those kinds of things outside of the box. Um, the second one is technology innovation. How well did they use technology in their solution? Did they come up with innovative new ways to solve a challenge? which is different than just repeating what already exists out there. Um, and then how much impact does their solution have? Will it have a broad reach to solve the problem? Um, teamwork, we added this one. It's really how well did the team listen, collaborate, did everyone participate? Did everyone get allowed to participate? You know, did they come together? I know it's a tricky situation when you're all on Zoom, but hopefully you've helped facilitate that. And then that last question is around what best category or what category would you put this solution into of the list so that's the timing those are the steps um sid do you want to walk through what the challenge is yeah i will go ahead and walk through the challenge um, and if you have any questions and you're watching the youtube live stream if you chat in there um, kristen's on board and she can answer any of those and you can always email us after also so a couple of things just to um, kind of circle back on in the tech challenge scenario. So one of our goals with the scenario is always to do something that the girls are excited about, that gives us a number of opportunities and ideas for them to have room to explore, but something they can understand, and something also that really ties into things we think they can think about technology. Um, in this case, even thinking about a little of the social impact. So. We want to think about how can they, the, the challenge we're giving them is to design a system to use technology to motivate people to clean up the environment. Now, they can choose to develop a system in any number of ways, um, whether it's how you help uh, some, uh, clean up the trash, move trash more economically, recycle differently. There's a lot of um, conversations that are going out in the world today about how we become more responsible for our carbon footprint and for what we leave behind. So we want the girls to think about how could technology really help that and have all sorts of ideas come in. One of the things that we know is that they can't tackle the entire continuum of the, the problem. So they are, you're going to do much better if you help them pick one of these areas that they're really interested in and develop a solution around that using technology. So this, one's, this scenario is gonna be called Don't Talk Trash. It's gonna be all about reducing your carbon footprint. And we're gonna give you some instructions for how to introduce that because while we will introduce it for just a brief moment from the live session before we throw them over to your sessions, that pun was not intended, then we will um, have you have some tools to be able to go a little bit deeper um, with them and just set it up. What we don't want you to do is to provide the girls any solutions. We want you to just be their guide through the brainstorming process um, and through that entire um, through that entire kind of conversation along the way, just to make sure that they um, see what you're, we're doing and they have just a really great experience along the way. 
Um, the tech challenge is one of our most popular things. One of the things that we're going to ask you to do at the end of this, so you've got to keep time. We have to have them back in the live stream by 2.35. By that's when we kick off the closing celebration. So your job is going to be do, to do that. And the moment that you end that session, we have to have you submit your judging criteria because we're giving away live prizes in that last 25 minutes. So we need your help submitting. We'll be taking all of those submissions and awarding prizes in those categories in basically near real time. So if your team doesn't get their data in, there's no way they'll win prizes. And what we know from the girls is that they love to win. It's one of the reasons they always stay till the end or they text us furiously um, trying to figure out which teams are winning from the tech challenge because they love the opportunity to do that. So as a judge, make sure you've guided them through that whole experience. They have an amazing time. You submit your judging criteria and then you too can join us back on the live stream if you want and watch the final results um, with the girls as we do a SheTech celebration. A couple of cool things that are happening in SheTech while I have you here at the live virtual summit, just to tell you a little bit about. Um, at, the, at the opening session, we are um, having a whole bunch of the women innovators who have been leading the crisis response talk about how technology has helped with the crisis. Um, we actually have someone who really fills the scientists, technology, engineering, and math category talking about what that has been as they've been helping to lead our state through all of this. We have the lieutenant governor who's also joining us. We've got a couple of live workshops before the mentor session from some of our national partners, both Adobe and Vivint are presenting um, two live sessions. They'll go to the mentor session. And then the very ending session is called the closing celebration. And we're doing a couple of cool things this year. One of which is the girls asked us last year if we would introduce the senior celebration, the senior chords for graduation. And so we're going to unveil those tomorrow and talk a little bit about that presentation and what that means for those senior girls who are graduating, who have come through the SheTech program and are headed on to the next stage of their lives. And then we also have a whole series of awards that we're going to be doing. And we had a couple of number of girls join us for the appropriately socially distanced dance for a TikTok that's part of our whole SheTech um, ecosystem. And then once that live session ends, we have a 24 hour watch party for all of the virtual workshops that have been provided by both our industry partners and the students in the mini workshop format. So there's a lot of great content, there's a lot of great prizes giving to everyone. And as I mentioned early on, to pull off the event on Thursday, we'll take almost 200 mentors with all of the girls. So you're a really big part of their experience. You're gonna help make it be something that they're really excited to participate in. And we're really grateful that you're taking the time to join us and to help these young women be inspired into STEM careers. So thank you for taking the time to do that. And thank you for joining us for this training session. Watch for an email from us with the information you need and ask us any questions ahead of time to make sure that you're fully prepared for Thursday. Thank you, we appreciate it. And we will see you Thursday.